Welcome back to the 20 seconds of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio. And this time we're going to do a short thing, which is basically tilting the camera, depending where you are. So as you can see, um, the whole building, so basically everything is tilting a little bit to the left or to the right, depending where we are standing. And this is dependent not on the cursor, but where the position of the player so basically i go let's say for example this is a center point go a little bit to the right then this angle is going in minus values so it's going a little bit downwards and of course if you're going here then we're going plus values in concerning an angle so this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider subscribe sharing and liking so this is how it looks like in our engine. And basically this line is, is the center point. And for example, we go a little bit to the right, then we're tilting. Of course, we're tilting much, much more than in the game. But I wanted to show you that because I guess this is then a little bit more impressive. Of course, later on we go with smaller values. And for example, then, hey, we are not going over this because this is just signifying, okay, this is the end and as you can see well the end is something between uh, 12 degrees left and right concerning if we are having a maximum value to the left and to the right so this is for the understanding all right so here we have a little illustration we need to get grab a few things to understand how this is going first of all we need a center point and then because we are just walking on a horizontal plane so this is where we are checking which we are so let's say our player is somewhere here or here or here doesn't really matter and um, then we need to check hey what kind of relative position we're having from our center point to our player and depending where we are we just say like hey cool camera angle change and the camera angle change is basically just let's say just one liner so this is kind of easy and this is how game maker normally handles this stuff so really quick recap into let's go with the bluish color so this is a zero upwards this is 180 then downwards we have 100 uh, 270 there we go and depending where we want to go so let's go with a red color if for example we are turning around downwards we are going with a minus value concerning the angle so we just go here minus and for example if you're going upwards then i don't know let's say 10 degrees 20 degrees we are going plus so you understand how that works so going upwards is plus concerning the angle and going downwards is minus for that once again we need to grab the fixed center point and then depending where the player is we have a relative position and that position let's go with another color here we go then we just say like uh no no, no come, on, come on let's go with the pink and yeah, let's go with pink because why not we have zero between to 100 percent depending how far we are off let's say on the right side and of course we can go zero to 100 percent to the left side and depending how much we're having then we multiply it with let's say how many maximum degrees we want to have so i don't know let's say we want to have 20 degrees maximum on the left or on the right side uh, plus minus boom then we just multiply it with our percentage value and boom this is basically the whole theory behind it Alrighty, so let's jump into our project this is how it looks like but we want to do it by ourselves so let's jump into our hotline clone come on go on load it alrighty so what we're gonna do we just jump into our camera because this is the only thing which we need we just have everything in there so let's get rid of the our object enemy yeah player whatever and then let's go into our camera open that up and first of all we're gonna draw one thing so we know we are on the right track so first of all we need a center point and the center point is just basically half of the room width. So we call it, uh, say, hey, this variable middle point X is then room width. And then this thing will stay always relative, which is definitely what we want. And then we just uh, draw a rectangle for our uh, convenience rectangle. Here we go. Yeah, let's go with this one. And here 
we just fill out uh, a few values because well, we need four. Come on, go on faster. Middle point X, then let's go uh, zero. Middle point uh, X once again, and then room height. And therefore, we are drawing a column through the whole middle of the whole screen. Of course, my, let's go minus. I don't know, minus two, and then here plus two. And for example, once we start it, then you will see that we are drawing a white rectangle through the whole screen. If you would fill it out correctly, outline no. Hopefully now it's correct. All right, so let's check it out where it actually is. And here we go. This is the center point. And depending where we are going left or right, then, well, um, the camera should tilt so here we go all right so this is uh, just for us debugging and testing let's make this a little bit more accessible so we can actually walk out of here because we saw as you can see this whole thing is not really in the center and the center is somewhere here so let's make it possible for us to walk through the walls let's get rid of that for now and then of course get rid of this guy and then we can go uh, to a maximum value which is to the left side and the maximum value which is to the right side and then we just tilt it all right so let's go back to our camera and go into the step event and here we're gonna do a few calculations so first of all we're gonna grab the thing which we did before the middle point because this one we're gonna need boom and then we need a percentage value so between 0 and 100 and how can we get that well one way how we can do this is just say hey var percentage i don't know this is just a variable and then we say point distance and then we need two uh, specific points for that we just grab our object player so object player here we go x and object player y and then relatively to the middle point so this is the middle point and then uh, we can use basically the same uh, as the player y because the y position is not important for us it stays the same we just want to go on one horizontal axis of course we can just go y y basically these values are the same so they don't play any relevance we just need to uh, get a distance and then make it percentage wise so here this is not uh, well correct because what we are doing here is grabbing a distance and then now if we would draw that on the screen this would be uh, well way too long and therefore we need to divide it by our middle point so basically uh, we're getting a value between 0 to 100 and I don't know let's we cannot actually draw that can we draw I don't know let's do this so let's save that as a regular variable first let's go for 0 and draw that above the player draw text here we go x y let's go minus 40 or whatever then percentage and now and this is not going to work at all because we want to draw that thing above the player so we're gonna take this one we need to actually check it out so let's go x and y and just draw this relative value above the player so let's check it out again all right and what you're seeing now is a percentage value so as you can see we are very close to the center point so it becomes zero and for example once we go to the right side it gets bigger and for example if we go to the left side it gets bigger also and at some point it will reach 100 because this is the room uh, with by half and so as you can see to the left and to the right we have percentage values of 100 so as you can see here 99 here we go all right so we got this one set up so this is pretty good but now we need to say like hey we want to tilt our camera and how can we do this well we can just say ok 
camera set view and then angle here we go what camera let's go for our default one camera here we go zero and then of course we need an angle which we can call i don't know end result or end result angle whatever you want to call that boom just another variable which we're gonna store um, also in our object camera so let's go for zero and this one will be the defining thing for now this is just zero and nothing has changed and we cannot just use the percentage because this wouldn't look too good and for example what we can do is say like hey end result is equal to uh, percentage and then times let's say an amount so we can create the last variable amount here we go let's say for example we want to have a maximum value of let's say 20 degrees so let's go for 20 later we will make this smaller but i want to show you the effect and then times this and this will work more or less but not as intended as you can see we are turning around which is good so this is relative but it just goes in one direction so here uh, we have a little issue which we need to well, fix and this is of course then um, dependent where the player is so therefore we need to have a little check so we're just saying like hey if our the x value of our object player is let's say bigger than the middle point so basically the player's position is right from the middle point then we just say like hey multiply it with a variable i don't know i call it flip you can call it whatever you like it's basically like image x scale which can be one or zero so we're just basically flipping something and then we just say like hey if we are bigger so the x position is bigger than our middle point then our flip is here we go minus one and for example if we are basically the other way around we are smaller then we just go and go with one and this already works okay-ish as you can see this already does work so as you can, but it has some flaws and what are the flaws well first of all we didn't <laughs> apply it so we <laughs> fail on my side and here once again to just recap basically this is the percentage value between 0 and 100 and this is how many degrees in angle we want to have and here we uh, flip it let's say on if it's minus one or one and now it will work but we will go into one little thing which is a little bit annoying but of course if you say this is good enough for you then it may look not smooth enough for you going between those two and yeah, for example if you go with bigger values then you would be going through this so this is maybe a thing which you like to change so therefore we already have a solution for that well i have a solution for you in this kind of regard what is possible in this regard to create a buffer zone so let's go into our draw wing and for example we just create a little a small buffer zone let's say from our center position here and here we just stay and have an image angle of zero and then if we go beyond this kind of buffer zone then we start turning around this is of course optional i guess this is not how it is uh, being done in well hotline miami but i thought like hey let's put in and modernize that stuff so we just say like hey cool and we can basically copy paste that stuff and say like var buffer x and define it i don't know let's go for 100 pixels and then we just say like hey is the x position for example now smaller than our middle point plus the buffer so here we go and we can basically copy paste that stuff let's go and make this a little bit nicer to read because this is the left side so hey the object player position x 
is it um, smaller than for example on the right side so we are going from the right buffer side and then of course we do the same stuff on the left side boom then of course minus then what do we do well we just say like hey the flip is zero and because this one is zero then the whole thing becomes zero which is good and then we can uh, toggle that off but of course now we are having a little thing which is like something like this and like oh what the hell this doesn't look good and therefore we need to input as you can see not the most <laughs> fluent way so how can we circumvent this one and for that we just use one of my favorite things we just love that thing we just say like hey store that in the var angle old and another variable so we just store that old stuff in here and we just say like sweet let's lerp between two values first of all well ourselves the end result and then the old input and I now go for 0 0.01 something like this and then we have one percent of lerping and now it will look definitely much smoother than it's before lerping is much much smoother and it will turn around much much nicer this is of course then more nice for the eyes so as you can see now the lerping is better one thing uh, because we don't want to lerp too much or we don't want to have a too high amount i would go between values of five to ten percent and then it of course will look um, the way it should be all right that was pretty much it for this video tutorial hopefully you like it and we go to the next one, well, in the next video. Have a good one. One up indie.